There's not much to do when all Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Jalap. I hope everybody is doing fine, healthy, um, and I hope everybody is practicing social distancing um, to avoid this deadly COVID-19 that's going around. Um, stay on washing your hands. Make sure you six feet apart. Um, if it is not necessary, stay to yourself. Don't go out there like a loose change. But anyway, um, I hope everybody is doing awesome. All right, and those who are um, affected by this COVID-19, uh, we pray for it. We pray for them and hope that they will recover and um, get on with their lives. Um, with that said, what we have for you today. Yes, um, I promised the last time that we were going to do cassava leaf. Um, that's what we're going to be doing today, cassava leaf. Cassava leaf um, is a, um, it's a, I can say it's a traditional dish which originated from the, um, um, the Aku people, from right. Um, I stand to be corrected on that. Well, I believe it's from the Aku people, from Sierra Leone and stuff like that. They the one that created this dish, and it like it went viral all over Africa. Now everybody cooking cassava leaf, and cassava leaf has um, um, various ingredients. Um, it has um, um, cassava leaf itself. Uh, it has some smoked catfish and it has some um, ground peanuts. I'll be showing you all the ingredients that um, goes into this dish. Um, without further ado, I'll be going into the cassava leaf. Uh, once again, back to social distancing, stay safe. Um, make sure that you are um, doing the right things and the necessary things that you need to do to avoid this COVID-19. And um, those who are infected with it, um, we pray for them. I hope they will recover. And those who have um, lost their lives um, due to this virus or for, or for whatever reason, um, we pray for them that God have mercy on their souls and on our souls as well, the living. Um, Without further ado, I'll be going into the um, dish I have for y'all today, which is cassava leaf. I'm going to be showing y'all that we start the process. Okay? Um, when it comes to my videos, um, it, sometimes the videos be, be like 20, 18 minutes um, due to my editing. Sometimes I feel like shortening the videos, but it's like if I cut some part of it, you're gonna miss out on the next step or how to do it. That's why it be um, 28 or 29 minutes, whatever. But whatever, anyway, I'll try to cut it as much as possible. Um, because this is not just me cooking, it's me showing you how to do it so you can do it. And there's a lot of people that are um, uh, um, trying these dishes that are out there on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed, you have subscribed. Okay, so here we are. The main ingredients for this um, recipe, the cassava leaf, um, aka plasas. Um, we do have the ground peanut. It is grounded, the raw peanuts um, ground, as you can see. And I have here um, some cow foot, some smoked turkey, some meat over here. That's lamb meat and another um cow uh and i have a smoked turkey over i'm um, sorry um smoked catfish and um a, a fish here and smoked fish over here and then i do have my uh, onions i do have my cassava leaf i do have my spinach leaf i have my palm oil i do have my peanut butter paste i have my pepper and I have other um, um, jumbos I'll be showing y'all as I start um, the process of cooking the palasas. It's called cassava leaf in English. In local language, it's called palasas in Gambia. That's how we call it. Um, I'll be going into it. So this is the main ingredients that you need if you're cooking palasas, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be um, using my pressure cooker over here to um, um, cook the cow foot and the turkey, smoked turkey neck and the meat. And then I'll use the broth to start the plus house, okay? 
because um, it's faster this way so that it could cook faster in 20 minutes the calf food and all this meat would be cooked and then we'll start our cooking okay first I'm just gonna add some little bit of salt just a little bit of salt over here then I'm gonna put my calf food in there here put in everything that you have or everything in there okay now I'll put my chunk of meat as well and now I'll put my smart turkey neck right now I'm gonna cover it close it to make sure that I got it under me over here and within 20 minutes I'll be good to go okay okay so now our pressure is done for the meat let's see what it looks like oh 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 Oh, you see everything is cooked right now the meat the turkey neck is all cooked the cow foot everything is cooked so here we go we're gonna start the cooking okay okay so now I'm gonna be blending um, the onions the spring onions I have um, pepper and then I have um, some seasoning maggi cube with the onions I'm gonna be blending it okay so I'm going to do this. Um, this is going to be part of the, the ingredients. So I'm just going to be blending it here. The cassava leaf, okay? So we're going to use this broth that we have over here. It's kind of hot though. So. Okay, so we're gonna use the broth to start the process, okay? As you can see, I just put a little bit of it, a little bit of the water, which is the broth of the meat. And then, um, remember we gray, um, we mix, we um, use the blender to blend the onions. You only need a little bit of onions when you're cooking this, okay? You put that in there. Now we're gonna use some peanut butter paste, okay? I'm gonna put like one spoon of this, of the peanut butter paste. Right? Then you mix it like this. I'm gonna turn my stove on. Make sure the stove is not high because you don't want this to burn, okay? It should not be high, okay? So let's give it a little bit of stir like this. Then I'm, this is like a one cup. So I'm gonna use my ground peanut. Get the hair on, okay? Get the mini arm wall, see all of right? Get the hair on. So I'm gonna use one of these. I'm using like three bags of um, green leaves and uh, my cassava leaves, so I'm gonna put two, two of these, okay? Two of these is enough. And then give it a mix, okay? Now we're gonna let it boil. Once it boil, we're gonna let it cook for like 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add the palm oil, okay?
Okay, it's time to add the palm oil. Um, how you know the time to add the palm oil is when you're cooking your, um, your I call it the gravy for the um, cassava leaf, you see the oil coming up at the top. Um, that's how you know that it's time to add your palm oil, okay? Make sure it's on the low. Don't make the stove um, too high because it's going to burn, okay? I'm going to add some spices, some hot pepper here, powder hot pepper. We'll clear that, all right? I'm going to put my seasoning, Jimbo. Right now, I'm gonna add my uh, palm oil, okay? I'm just gonna, I don't know what would be enough because I'm gonna stir it and I will see how it looks, then I will know whether it's enough or not, okay? You see that? That's enough from now. If there is a need for you to add more palm oil after you put your leaves in there, you could tell and you can add more and let it sit and slow cook it, okay? Remember, the trick to this is not to put the stove high. It should be medium low, okay? You see that? So we're going to let this now cook for like 5-10 minutes. I'm going to add a little bit, yeah? I'm going to let this sit for like five ten minutes then i'm gonna add the catfish in here and the other stuff so that it could cook because once the catfish cat catfish cooks um and the other fish we will have to um take it out and then put our spinach leaf which is going to be the um sorry the green leaf and the cassava leaf which is the last part so we're gonna let this sit and cook for like 10 minutes before we add our fish, okay? Okay, it's time to add the fish. But before you add the fish, make sure that you just give it a little bit of stir, okay? This is the secret to a um, nice plus house. If you wanna cook a nice um, cassava leaf, this is the secret. If this is not looking right, your plus house would not look right. That's the bottom line. So make sure this part is up to par, okay? As you can see, now it's time to add our fish. I'm gonna be dropping the catfish in there. I'm gonna be dropping the catfish in there. Let it cook. And then our, um, and the other fish we have in there. Drop it in there. Remember, the stove is should be on medium so we're gonna put our smoked turkey neck too back inside here so it could get in the flavor and the cow foot and stuff and the meat okay everything that we put in we're gonna be taking out when it's time to put the leaf okay And then, if you have some habanero pepper, throw them in there as well and let it cook. And when you stir in this time around, you just have to do it gently. I prefer not to stir it. I just prefer to do it like this, shake it like this, right? So everything can mix together and then let it slow cook, okay? Okay, it's time to remove the fish and the meat and the goodies in here, over here, put it over here, and then add our spinach leaf, okay? So I'm gonna use two spoons to help me out, um, take out my goodies. 
like the meat, the fish, the, everything. Okay, I've removed the fish, the meat, smart turkey, everything, put it on the side here. You see? Okay. Now I only have the gravy over here. Now it's time to add the, um, the leaves, okay? Let me put my stove on medium again. Now it's time to add the leaves. I'm going to be adding the leaves, okay? Slowly. This is the last, um, sec the second to last step, okay? So make sure you mix it. After this right here, gonna go back in here. We're gonna let this cook for a minute and then we're gonna add the smoked fish that we have on the side before we add this, okay? Let me, Check my stove and we should be good to go. Keep it locked. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of palm oil. It's been cooking for like um, 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna add, as you can see, the leaves already soaked up all the um, oil. Big A, I'm trying to make a video over here, please. Why are you shouting? I'm trying to make video for the people over here. Huh? You don't want them to hear what I'm saying? Huh? Okay, I'm gonna add some oil, alright? Just a little bit, okay? And then stir it. Yeah, it's coming along, man. Then I'm gonna give it like next 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna add the fish and everything back in here and then that's the last step. But before I do that, um, I'm gonna put my smoked fish that I have. I'm gonna put the smoked fish around it. And then I'm gonna mix, okay? And you can taste the salt and the spices. <clears throat> hey! Lord have mercy! This is what we gotta deal with over here. I know you understand if you have one or two. That's it. Now we're gonna let it cook for like five minutes, then we add our other stuff. We'll be good. Okay, here is the plus sauce now. Now it's time to add our fish, the meat, and everything else back in the pot, okay? As you can see, the leaves already cooked. The cassava leaf is done. 